Hey there clan and welcome to a prediction video. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I'm normally on the day I'm on Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Uh, those were the ones that started me doing it. But I really wanted to get back to doing those kinds because I kind of enjoyed doing them. So I'm going to bring back the series hopefully and maybe do a couple more better predictions on various games that I'm excited for. And one of the games that I'm excited for is Batman Arkham Knight. And some news came out recently about certain characters that I'm excited to see and so I want to do this prediction video on what I think the story of Arkham Knight will be like and also the two other characters that will be playing in the game I'm pretty sure you know who these are we'll be playing Red Hood and Harley and Quinzel or Harley Quinn for short so I think we'll dive into it and have a bit of fun and let's just do a little prediction shall we Okay, firstly, advanced, 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 advanced warning. I will be spoiling Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, uh, sorry, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Arkham Origins, I'm not going to talk about. Uh, but they're, they're going to be spoilers here. I'm going to say that right now. Now, I'm going to basically do this in segments. Firstly, I'm going to talk about uh, the two other characters, Red Hood, Harley Quinn, and then I'm going to talk about Batman, because I think he's the, he's the main focus of the game. I do want to talk about these other two characters. And the first character that I'm going to talk about is Harley Quinn, who really, after the events of Arkham City, after Joker's death, and after Harley Quinn's revenge in the DLC, which was mixed in my opinion, really, we, ha we don't know what Harley's up to at the moment. That's the thing that we have to take into consideration. Now, from the gameplay and the story that we have seen so far, it looks like Harley's with the bad guys, which is something that you kind of expect. But we're going to be playing as her in the game, so that's left a lot of people predicting that you'll be a good guy. Now, I think it's been confirmed, but do not quote me, and I'm not 100% certain that Harley Quinn is possibly a double agent. There is the prediction that she's actually infiltrating the uh, bad guys to maybe fight, disrupt the order in us. Because really, the only reason... Well, Harley's insane, but she was only doing the things that Mr. J wanted her to do. She did anything for him. She killed, murdered, and did a whole lot of bugger stuff. But without Mr. J's influence, or Joker's influence, what kind of character would she become? And they did touch upon this in another DC game, Injustice, in which Harley kind of teamed up with uh, Batman. Now, that's a different game in a different studio, but it's an interesting idea. Now, I do think it's probably been touched on in other medias where the Joker's no longer around and maybe Harley teams up with Batman. Now, I don't know if she'd team up with Batman because in her mind, she, he, killed, he killed Joker. And I don't think she would actually team up with Batman. But I do sense the vibe that I don't think she's actually going to be a bad guy in Arkham Knight. I actually think she'll be fighting on the side of good. I don't know to what extent that is because she is insane. And of course this is the Batman Arkhamverse and we have established that the Lazarus Pits do exist. So there is a chance that Joker might come back. But in all honesty I think they'll probably leave him dead. Because I think that's actually the best thing they can do for the story is actually leave Joker deceased because he got the perfect swan song in my opinion that Mark Hamill's Joker got the perfect swan song now if they bring him back as long as it's good with the story I'm okay with it but I really think they probably should maybe keep Joker dead and I'm pretty sure they are they've no, they've, they've, they've not even hinted at the fact that they'll bring him back it's pretty certain that he is dead um, while that is disappointing I'm okay with that I do want to see a Batman game where the Joker isn't the main villain and Let's face it, for the past two Batman Arkham games, jo the Joker has been the main villain. Even though in Arkham City, he was less of a villain in some people's eyes, he was more. He was still the main villain in a way. I think that they won't do the Joker in this, and that does mean put a bit more credence to the words that I think Harley is actually being the good guy, and maybe she is infiltrating the bad guys on behalf of either Batman, which is a big, a big, big F in my opinion, or the Arkham Knight. Because we have established that the Arkham Knight is destroying the city, but 
he's got Batman's image. He maybe aspires to be Batman in some way, shape, or form. As I say, it comes down to maybe she's a double agent for him. I do also think that Harley is some form of double agent, in all honesty. Now, I don't know what organ... I don't know if she'll be working with an organisation, or she might be working with... Maybe with the time between Arkham City and Arkham Knight, maybe she confronted Batman at one point, and he told her... Not the truth, but he says Mr. the Joker killed himself. Because, technically speaking, he did. Conspiracy theories are way, way aside with the Joker still being alive with a few other... I've read the conspiracy theories. I'm pretty sure he's fucking dead. Now, I do believe that she is a double agent of some way, shape, or form, and I think that will adapt in there. And I'm really glad that Harley is getting her time to shine, because Harley is one of my favourite characters from the Batman Batman universe in general. I do like her character a lot. Um, her first appearance in the animated series, her cops... I've read one or two of the comic book versions, but not all of them. Um... But Harley is one of my favourite characters, and I'm glad that she's going to get a little bit of the spotlight. And it is going to be similar to the way they did with Catwoman, probably. I do think she is still a double agent. I don't know if it's with Batman or with another person. Maybe it's with Oracle. I do not know. It's really, really tricky to say, in my opinion. But I do think she is a double agent in some way, shape, or form. That, I think... See, I know, I've heard it's been confirmed somewhere, but don't quote me on that. But I do hope that that is kind of what the case is. Either that or she's just being flat with the bad guy, which I don't mind playing the bad guy. And, and also, unlike the other person, Red Hood, it hasn't been confirmed that she's going to kill people. Which I'm pretty sure she is, because she probably will. But that's a little side, that's a little nice segue into Red Hood. Now, this will be Jason Todd's or Red Hood's first appearance in an Arkham game. And I do know it's been hinted at. It's, I don't know. To my knowledge, I I think I may have seen one or two. I do not know 100%. But it does kind of mean that there has been a couple. There probably has been, if you look at the games enough, a couple references to Jason Todd, including the, the uh, radio frequencies in, in um, Arkham City, which was... Uh, I will return or something like that on the radio and it was either Scarecrow or Jason Todd and I think it was one it could be either one of them but I'm pretty sure it was probably Todd. Now what now it has been confirmed that Jason Todd is going to kill people in this game. If you're unaware who Jason Todd is, he is Red Hood. He is a former Robin who was beaten to death by Joker by a crowbar then blown up. Yeah. And then he was brought back to life, I think, via the Lazarus Pits. Do I? That's only going from the movie uh, Batman Under the Red Hood, which I have uh, in this collection here, which is what my, probably my, my second favorite Batman movie of all time. Um, but he was brought back to death by the Lazarus Pits, a little crazy, and adopted the persona of the Red Hood, and also kills people. And it has been confirmed that he will kill people in Arkham Knight when you play as him. So you are playing. He, he's been he's described more as an anti-hero rather than a villain because he does want to do good what Batman told him but he doesn't think Batman goes far enough so he does flat out kill people with guns breaking necks and that's what his takedowns will involve that is actually kind of I'm very very glad that that is actually the case because I didn't know if they would allow you to do that in, in a Batman and in, in this kind in an Arkham game I like the fact that they are showing that there are good good guys out there that do kill people and that is what Jason Todd is going to be doing. Now there's no been any confirmation on his voice actor which I'm just going to talk about this briefly. If you're unaware uh, Jason Todd was voiced by um, Jensen Eccles uh, of Supernatural uh, and Under the Red Hood on the, mo on the DVD in the movie and he did such a fantastic fucking job on that one and I would love for him to voice Jason Todd in Arkham Knight. That would be fantastic in my opinion. I do not know if it's been confirmed if he is, but as long as they get a good voice actor, I'm okay, but I would prefer Jason, uh, Jens Nichols. Um, and also, he would make a great Jason uh, Red Hood in, real, in a real live action film. I've got to say it right now, because he's a badass. Um, but yeah, I do... Now, what will he be like in the story? I kind of don't... This is the one we don't know that much about. There is some prediction that there what he is, but I think he has coming back to Arkham to help Batman in a way, but prove that he can do things better. That's which kind of that's the kind of vibe I get from Jason Todd, especially from the Under the Red Hood movie, is that he wants to prove to Batman that he can be a better Batman. He wants to say, look, you don't go far enough, I'm willing to go that extra little step and actually kill the murderers, the rapists, the psychopaths. I'm willing to do that 
you're not, so that makes me a better hero than you. That's the kind of vibe I get from Jason Todd, and that's the kind of vibe I think they'll go for in Arkham Knights. Now, whether or not they do that is highly uncertain right now. I do not know if they'll actually do that. I would love them to do that, but I, I just don't know. Now, what will his overall story arc be? Now, I don't know if, as I said, maybe he'll be a lot, with, he has a lot of insane, so maybe he'll believe that the Joker isn't really dead and he's coming back to Arkham to finish the job. I don't know, maybe there's rumours that the Joker's still alive, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe that will play into Harleen Quinzel's story where she believe that the rumours are that the Joker's still alive and she's trying to find him and that kind of thing. Um, but I do think that that's going to be... Jason Todd needs a reason to come back to Arkham, uh, to, to Gotham. And that reason could be many things, but I think probably the main reason is he wants to prove to Batman that he, he can be better than him. And he's willing to go that extra step. And maybe he wants to prove that he can kill the Arkham Knight. Because that's one character we, that, that Rocksteady have kept under wraps to who he really is. Or who they really are. We don't know their gender, even though it's a male body. It's, it's, a, comic book, it's a comic book universe. It could be a fucking chick. Um, but I like to think that that's probably what Jason Todd is. I think Jason Todd is going to want to prove that he's a better vigilante than Batman. And that's what I think it's going to be like in the main story. Now, Arkham Knight, as I say, I haven't talked too much about him, but there's a lot of predictions out there who the Arkham Knight is. There's some predictions that it's the Joker. There was one prediction that it was Jason Todd, which has been kind of debunked now. There's predictions that it's Bruce Wayne, that he's gone nuts, which I don't think it is. Um, there's, there's people predicting that it's Hush. There's many predictions of who the Arkham Knight is, but I do think that we will see a Jason Todd Red Hood versus... Arkham Knight, I do highly think that we will probably see that at one point, just so I think Jason Jason Todd wants to prove that he can beat him, and that, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Now, there isn't any game, There, I do think there is actually a leaked gameplay, which I have not looked at, because I do not look at leaked information or leaked gameplay until the developer says it's okay, because I, I respect developers too much to actually to not look at the stuff, but I, there has been leaked, there is supposed to leaked gameplay out there, I haven't looked up, I'm not going to link it, if you want to go look for it yourself, I'm not going to stop you. Because I can. Uh, but yeah, that's my prediction for Jason. I think Jason Todd's main story is he wants to prove that he's better than Batman. That's my prediction. Now, as for the Batman, as for Batman, what is what is going to be up with Batman? That is something that I really do not know. All I know is that this is Rocksteady's final Arkham game. This is their end to their trilogy. Now, whether or not they'll continue the series after this, I don't know. But this is their final. This is their third. This is the third installment. This is the installment that they want to go out with a bang. Now, from this gameplay I've seen and what I've been able to determine from Batman, is that he still feels guilty for the Joker's death, even though it wasn't his fault. And that's what that's one of the major faults of Batman's character or Bruce Wayne's character, is he he he, he takes blame. For stuff that he really shouldn't take blame for. Even though the Joker died. Basically by his own hands. By the Joker's own hands. He still blames him for Joker's death. Blames himself for Joker's death. Which that is something that Batman has always stated. That he will never do. He will never kill. Because that is not what it is. I think this. The Under the Red Hood said it, said it best. I, I don't. I'm horrible if I miss Kona, But I, Batman says in this movie. Uh, him and Jason Todd are having a, a little rip or twee. And Jason Todd's going, why haven't you killed the Joker? Why haven't you killed him? And Batman answers it with this, and because it's too damn, it's too damn easy to cross that line. And once I cross that line, I'll never go back, and I'll never, and I'll be no better than the monsters I hunt. I don't know if that's not the exact quote, but it's one of the best ways to describe Batman in my opinion is that Batman doesn't want, that never does not want to cross that line, even if he kills someone indirectly, even if it isn't, and even if it isn't directly his fault. Like, uh, for example, in Justice League animated series, Batman gets possessed by Deadman at one point in the series. Even just for a split second, Deadman uses Batman's body to grab a gun to stun a bad guy, but the bad guy falls back and falls into an electric uh, electric panel, and he gets electrocuted to death, and Deadman drops the gun, it goes out of his body, and Batman blames himself for that. He kind of blames himself. You can get that vibe from him. And that's kind of the Batman I get from Arkham, from the Arkham series as well, is that he would blame himself if he wasn't, even if he wasn't directly responsible for the death of a character or someone. 
That's the kind of thing that I think there. So I do think he's still going to be blaming himself for the Joker's death. And he's still rather conflicted with that. But also he wants to save his city and find out who the hell this Arkham Knight is. This character that showed up and has basically destroyed his what he's tried to save. And I think the main thing about the story, what I'm gathering from it, is going to be about recovery and also who Batman really is. Which is something that is hard to define. Like who really is Batman and how can you define his character? And I'm really, ex really, really excited to see what Arkham Knight will actually do with this. It really will hopefully determine and be a nice little send-off to this character of the Arkhamverse, at least. And I kind of want to see what they're going to do with it. Now, really, it's up to debate what's going to happen with that. And as I say, I think the main aspect of the story for Batman will be coming to grips with the fact that he didn't kill the Joker. The Joker killed himself, in a way. But... It really is going to come down to how they're going to portray the story and also what twists. Now, I know some people are going to ask me about, do I think... I've already said in this video, I would prefer that Joker is dead. Like, dead. He's gone. He's not coming back. I know it's a comic book universe in a way, so they could come back. But I would find... I think Rocksteady have the balls. And I hope they do have the balls to actually leave the Joker dead. Because he needs... Killing off the Joker was, in my opinion, one of the ballsiest... And riskiest things to do a Rocksteady ha ever did with the Batman license. That was the riskiest and ballsiest move they ever did at the end of Arkham City. And I really don't want them to backpedal and bring Joker back. So, in the end, I do not want Joker brought back to life. If they play, if they play along with the idea that someone is intimidated and sorry, impersonating or copying the Joker, that will be interesting because. If someone was to impersonate the Joker, that would give Harley Quinn incentive to kill, to, to find this person and kill him. And also, it would give Jason Todd incentive to come to Arkham to prove that this is not the Joker and make an example of him. That would add a little bit more to the story, in my opinion. That's at least what I'm hoping that they'll do. I hope they do not bring the Joker back at all. I do know Mark Hamill has, n has not stated if he's back for a voice or anything. I hope he uh, had not been on for the voice the only returning voice actor is uh, the voice actor of course of uh, Oracle and um, of course all the other ones the villain Two-Face Penguin all those others and of course uh, Ke Kevin Conroy who is Batman so I think that is something that I really do like I hope that the Rocksteady have the balls to keep the Joker dead maybe they'll play it I'm, sh I'm more than certain that they will play along with the aspect of someone impersonating the Joker or that little niggling feeling at the back of Batman see that Joker is still alive. Because how many times has the Joker died? Um, so I think that that will be something that will niggle at the back of his head. And will come to play in some way, shape or form in um, Arkham Knight. Will that be a little side mission or part of the main story? That is. And I think I'll wrap things up there. That's basically my overall thoughts about the different stories aspects that will be involved in there. I don't think I've got much else to say on that, but I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what your predictions are for Jason Todd's story, Harley Quinn's story, and Batman's story. Let me know what your thoughts are and your predictions are of those characters and what will happen to them at the end of it. Um, other than that, I think I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And Rocksteady, please have balls. Please have a good set of balls on you. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren, Nate 2, and I'll see you on next time. Ciao for now. Hey there, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, regardless of whatever the video topic was about, because I know I'm a complete not a tit sometimes. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other further content, all you have to do is click on the little Scottish One next to anything down in the bottom there to take you to the channel and check out the rest of my videos. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, it's just Scottish One next to everyone else. And also, if you want to help support the channel, all you have to do is pop in the link in the description to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Scottish Warrior NATO in which if you feel like my content is worth it you can donate donate one dollar a month to help continue to support this channel and help me make this into a full time gig. Feel free to go check out the Patreon page to make sure it is to your liking and you actually want to spend a dollar a month on this shitty channel. Thanks for watching again as always I am Scottish Warrior NATO and I hope you'll stick around and may even join the clan by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. Mwah.